What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman for AwesomeO.com, and I am back with my NBA DFS contenders on FanDuel for Wednesday, March 9th. Now, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. Let me know in the comments section who your favorite plays are for today's slate. And finally, shout out to No House Advantage for being the presenting sponsor of this video. Use the promo code AwesomeO when signing up to get up to $25 on your first deposit. Now we're rounding out the bottom of my top 10 with Fred Van Vliet, De'Aaron Fox, Evan Fournier, LeBron James, and Jimmy Butler on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five plays for today? It's time to find out. First up at number five, we've got Luka Doncic. He's point guard, shooting guard eligible, 11,100, projected for 58, but the goal, 72 on a slate like this. 12 games, by the way. Odds of being in the optimal, 15%. I'm giving him 37 minutes. Since the trade deadline, Luca's got a 40%, higher than a 40% usage rate. I'm just sticking it at 40. 1.57 fantasy points per minute, 33 real points, 11 rebounds, and seven and a half assists, almost two stocks. It is a pace down spot against the Knicks. The Mavs are pretty big favorites in this one, so that does look good. But ultimately, the raw point ceiling of Luka Doncic, too much to be ignored today. At number four, I'm going to Miles Bridges. On the back-to-back, -back, but I don't mind. Small forward eligible, 6,700. Projected for 36. The goal is 50, and he's in the optimal lineup 18% of the time. I'm giving him 36 minutes. It's not the best matchup in the world against Boston. It's paced down. Celtics defense is good. Hornets are seven-point dogs. But Bridges is a fantasy point-per-minute guy. 18 points, seven and a half rebounds, three and a half assists, a steal, and a block. I think he's just got a massive upside. Uh, he's, he's a really good player. I don't think 6,700 is the correct price for him. And if he gets to 50, I'm not going to be shocked. At number three, we head to Houston for Kevin Porter Jr. He's point guard, small forward eligible. Love that designation. 5,800 projected for 33. The goal is 46. He's in the optimal lineup 20% of the time. 32 minutes for Porter here for a Houston team that is probably full strength, but we shall see. Slight pace up spot for Houston, and they're taking on the Lakers, whose defense is terrible. Houston only a four-point underdog if you want to know how bad the Lakers are. We'll see if LeBron James actually plays in this one. If he does, he looks good. 1.03 fantasy points per minute for Porter. 16.6 assists and five and a half rebounds plus a steal. It's good flexibility. It's a great price. It's an excellent matchup. Take your shot on Kevin Porter. I can hear the collective groan now. Number two, Russell Westbrook. And again, I'm assuming LeBron James is in. Point guard eligible, 6,800. Projected for 40 and a half. The goal is 51. He's in the optimal lineup 22% of the time. 33 minutes here for Russ. These are the same rates that we've had all year with LeBron James available and no Anthony Davis. 1.2 fantasy points per minute. 19 points, 10 rebounds, 6 assists, and a steal. Massive pace up spot. 2.3 possessions over their average. Revenge narrative alert if you want that against Houston. And the Lakers are four-point favorites. You got to get over the fact that Russ hasn't been very good because even when he's not very good, he's still been a point-per-minute guy. 6,800 is just not the correct price tag for him. Take advantage while you can. Now, before we get to that number one contender, one last reminder, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter at Josh Engelman. Let me know in the comments who your favorite plays are, and then go sign up at No House Advantage using the promo code AWESOMO. $25 on your first deposit. This one's easy. If he plays, Anthony Edwards is your number one contender. Shooting guard, small forward, eligible, 6,300. Projected for 38. The goal is 48. He's in the optimal lineup 25% of the time. I'm hoping the time off has helped him a little bit. I think he was a little dinged up. 1.13 fantasy points per minute in 34 minutes in a great matchup. If you need to get right, Oklahoma City is the way to do it. Minnesota, 14-point favorites in this one. It's basically pace neutral. You know Edwards is going to shoot. They're nowhere around that. So 22 points for Edwards, six rebounds, three and a half assists, and two stocks. I love the shooting guard small forward positionally. 6,300 works. And this is a guy that when he gets cooking, 50 fantasy points isn't all that crazy. As long as he's in the game, Anthony Edwards is your number one contender. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on FanDuel for Wednesday, March 9th. There's a DraftKings and Yahoo version of this video around here somewhere, so check it out. Good luck tonight, everybody. Win some money. We're back again tomorrow morning for another edition of The Contenders.